Hello, welcome to Craft Shoe Print TV. My name's Liz Harris and thanks for joining me. Okay, what I'd like to do today is show you how I've made this lovely rosette card with a cute little puppy dog in the centre of it. Okay, I've brought out a new range of 3D decoupage dog portrait sheets. Now, there are over 180 breeds being shown at Crufts 2012 this year, which starts in March. So to coincide with that, I've brought out my new range and I do have uh, a portrait sheet for every dog that is shown. So hopefully I've covered everybody's dog crafting needs. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to take a scalloped A4 card and fold it in half to make an A5 size card so it will fit in an A5 size envelope. I've got it scalloped because I thought that matched in quite well with the rosette design. Okay, so what I've done is I've got a piece of background paper and I'm just going to mount this on the top just using double sided tape. Okay, just get that put on there. Now this background paper does come in three different sizes um, of print. It's the medium, the small and the mini and this is the mini one that I'm using because I just do want a smaller design there on this one. So pop that one on there. As you can see that's a nice background. If you want to you can add some nice, I think silver peel offs to match in with the uh, silver bowls there would be quite good. But to save time I'll leave those off for now. And then I've got a wonderful rosette that I've printed out from new rosette sheets. There are 10 different colours in these rosettes and they do all come with various different little centres that you can use if you just want to use the rosette on its own. But what I've done, as I've uh, designed my new dog sheets, I've made sure that the topper on its own there actually fits onto the centre of the rosette so you don't have to worry about sizing all of the dog portraits have been designed to work with these sheets so I'll just cut out the main portrait there now again when you're cutting out fair fabric I'm sure you'll have heard me say before just move your paper and your scissors slightly as you go along just give it a little wiggle and it just gives you that little bit softer edge rather than it being really harsh edges because fair isn't straight edges all the time and it does have a little bit of a, a wave in it okay so we'll just cut around there give it a bit of a wiggle okay and as you can see oops just cut that one off there that's the design number two on there okay and that does just fit straight in the centre of your rosette. Right, just a little tip when you're cutting out something that is spiked like that uh, for the ribbons, actually take your scissors to the centre of the design, hopefully you can see this, and then rather than trying to go round the corner, actually go back from the other side there and cut so that your points actually meet and then it comes away nice and easily and you've got a lovely sharp point at the end there. Okay, now this red rose that has been printed out on Crafty Bob photo paper and I absolutely love Crafty Bob photo paper. Um, it is one of the best in my opinion that you can get because the colours just come out superbly. That red has been printed on a bog standard printer which cost me about £40 and it was compatible inks and I think the depth on that it looks like it's 3D'd already and that's just down to the quality of the um, printing ink there and the paper that you can see all the different uh, colours of the reds there. Okay so just pop some double sided tape on this. Now you can use foam pads if you wish if you want it to stand off from your design a little bit. Just put a little bit on there so it stays on. Okay. And just centre that onto the card. Now if you want in a lot more depth onto your card, again with digital printing you can print out as many as you like. So you could print out more than one, layer them all up 
just slightly twist them as you're going round and you'll find that you get a bit fatter rosette and you could also cut off the ribbons at the bottom and actually put proper ribbon on there and that would give quite a nice effect. Okay, and I'm just going to pop my little dog into the centre. Again, if you remember, if you're using slightly larger foam pads and you want a little bit of a twist, just shape it into your fingers and you do still get that little bit there and then just pop him straight into the centre there. Now you can then go on to use the other layers from the sheet if you wish. Um, there is a, an extra layer there and another layer or you can just keep it as the flat one and just add then a little bow onto his hair. Oops, just pop that on there. Okay, let's just pop that and that just matches. I just thought a nice little red bow onto the oops, dog there. Getting an extra bit on my uh, nail there. Okay, and that gives you just a wonderful card for any dog lover and as I say that is available in lots and lots of different breeds. Okay so that's the uh, rosette sheet using the little dog uh, portrait designs. Now also to coincide with those and still on the Cruffs theme or the Champions theme um, I've designed some little trophies as well. Now these are available on a separate uh, craft shoe print sheet. This one I've actually tied ribbons around it. Now as you can see you can use that for football, any sort of sports tournaments and popped on the front of a card that's going to look great for again any occasion, any sporty person or any doggy person. But what I've also done is make sure that the centre of the trophy um, is just the right size for a uh, dog portrait there to go in the centre so you can again use this um, to go with your 3D step by step sheet. Uh, that's the pug design there but it also does match in with any of the other craft sheets that I've done um, of the dog portraits for the Cruffs range. Okay, Just some more ideas there. Sorry for the interruption but as you can see somebody wanted to get in on the act and because I was using a dog on the cards that wasn't uh, a little Scotty dog then she wanted to come and join in. So thanks ever so much for watching us and we'll hope to see you again soon without any more interruptions. Say bye bye Maisie. Bye.